The ingredients are 8 eggs, 250 grams butter, 6 tablespoons of cacao powder, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, 30 grams ground walnuts, 2 cups powdered sugar, and 30 milliliters of run or cognac. Now you can pause the video to write down the ingredients or you can take a screenshot. The first step is to separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. You'll need a bigger container for the egg whites because later we're going to beat them to snow and they'll become really foamy. Next we're going to add 6 tablespoons of cacao powder in the egg yolk bowl. And if you want, you can make it more powdery with using this special device. I don't even know what it's called. After the cacao powder, add in room temperature butter, softened butter, along with one and a half cup of powdered sugar. The half a cup of powdered sugar is for something else, so leave that and then mix it until it becomes a nice thick cream. After a while, this is what the cream should look like after you've mixed it all. And wash your whisk sticks and move on to the egg whites that will have to be beaten to snow at a high speed. In the process, gradually add powdered sugar. You need to add half a cup of powdered sugar. This is what the egg whites look like after they've been beaten up to snow. In this, you want to add around one third of the chocolate cream that we made before. Fifty milliliters of rum or cognac. Some vanilla extract. Around that much, or two dry vanillas if you use it. 300 grams of ground walnuts. If you want a more chocolatey taste, feel free to add another tablespoon of cacao powder. With the help of a spatula, mix all of those together. After you've mixed it, evenly disperse the mixture into three trays with parchment paper. Put it in the oven at a preheated oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's around 180 Celsius. Let them bake for 15 minutes. This is what they look like after 15 minutes. They kind of look like a big chocolate cookie. After the large chocolate cookies are cooled down, you want to put a layer of cream over it. It's going to go like cookie cream, cookie cream, cookie cream until you ran out of the ingredients. This is the last giant cookie and the last of the cream. And with the cream, you want to use it all and cover the cake on the top and on the sides to seal in everything. Before serving, it's nice to have the cake sit in the fridge overnight, but just don't get too tempted to eat it all. Our cake has holes in it because we put candles for a birthday party.